Looking slick as usual. Oh! Ho, ho! Noob Cybot clones? What's up guys, main man Sui here, hoping you're all doing awesome as always, and I'm gonna watch the Raven trailer. He returns. So this was the second trailer shown at EVO. This, I guess, means that Master Raven is booted out the door. It's a shame, I kind of liked her, she really grew on me. Um, not in ranked battle, very popular in EU, high MMR, high ranks, you'd see Master Raven everywhere. Kind of scummy, kind of cheesy, but I liked her design. Her visual design did appeal to me in many ways. Um, but uh, who doesn't love Raven? Introduced in Tekken 5, basically Blade, you know, Wesley Snipes. And worked really well. I thought he was really cool. But uh, weirdly, he just never enjoyed high pick rates, which is why I think they tried the, the sex change and Master Raven thing with, uh, with Tekken 7. But interestingly, they go back to Raven. And they don't ditch the character. It seems like a lot of... Having seen that... Ravensina. What was her name? Having seen... What a complicated name for someone like me. Um, but seeing that trailer, I, I can tell like a lot of characters... Uh, Azucina, thank you. A lot of characters have been booted out, right? And I do believe Shaheen is not going to make it either. And we know Gigas is out the door. A lot of uh, originals for Tekken 7, rightfully so, have been booted in my opinion. Very uninspired designs. Um, and uh, so Master Raven seems to be also booted and we're like, ah, you know what, that didn't work, let's go back to OG Raven. And uh, yeah, I liked Raven, so I can't wait to see now what has happened to Raven. Where has he been? What has he done? And he never had a rage drive. He never had a rage art. He missed out on Tekken 7. So where is he at now? So many questions. Oh, is that his his stage? Elden Ring? Witness the results of my training. He's been training! Oh my god! He's gonna make Goku look like a complete twerp. Raven! Raven! Looking slick as usual. Oh ho ho! Noob Cybot clones? Oh shit! Holy shit! I never want to see Master Raven again. What a cool map! What a cool stage! Holy shit! The Hand of Raven! What the fuck is he doing? He has projectiles? Uh, uh, okay, the, this trailer just fucking blew my mind. Uh, am I the only one who just had their mind fucking blown? This trailer shattered my mind. 
my ninjutsu has evolved to a next level. To a new level. Yeah, I'm, I'm inclined to agree. This is my favorite trailer so far. Him, the stages, his animations, his attacks, his rage art. Uh, holy shit. Yeah, no, this, this was absolutely mind-blowing. of my training get ready for the next battle new challenger Aven. oh he looks great but holy shit the stuff he did so yeah let's let's try the slow-mo here see if we can keep up with raven So wait, this is a stance. Oh no. Oh, back one. He goes into stance. On hit, I guess. That's so slick. So flare into projectile drop. A clone of himself. I, I don't know, from this trailer, does he have clone projectiles like Noob Cybot? I mean, if he turns into someone who can throw clones as projectiles or throws, it's like they have completely changed the character if that happens. But that's what it looked like to me at, at a certain point. He jumps! The clone jumps from his shoulders! I mean, yeah, I gotta say, this new take on Raven is certainly gonna elevate his popularity. I mean, I wanna play this guy. I wonder if they'll have a customization feature where you can change the color of the clones. Would be really slick. And this, this, this stage. What a beautiful stage. So they show two stages here and they're both hand themed. I wonder if that ties into the story of the game, or if it's... It can't have anything to do with Raven, right? They can't give him two stages. And then you see there are chains everywhere, which seems to be, you know, a theme with Tekken 8. Uh, very initial trailer. Chain that breaks off and turns into an 8. Tekken 8. So we do like chains in this game. Need to see this again. Clone bounds. Oh, because, right, this is after heat burst, so he still has the backflip bound. And he has time to go into manual stance again, and that's his tornado. He has a tornado combo filler. Very powerful. Dear Lord. Hit! Throws two clones. Heat Engager. This must be his Heat Smash, right? That is his Heat Smash. But is this a projectile? How much reach do you think this has?
Is that gonna be a Noctis style projectile where he sort of froze himself? Cross Circle 4 2 still there. It's not a launch anymore, so that's a nerf. Or do they mean this is guaranteed? Is that what we're saying with this? Probably. Uh, considering that used to launch, so it's still a nerf, right? But now it just gives a uh, follow-up hit. And this uh, can be seen as a nerf, but it's also a way of not breaking the pacing of, of a match, where not everything has to launch. It's like Jin's um, standing four now, it gives a mini combo, so it get, guarantees not a launch, but a downford one four, for example, or a one plus two heat engager. Uh, you'll see more of that in Tekken 8, where a big hard hit, like a counter hit or no normal hit, will give a follow-up attack, uh, uh, as compared to everything just launching all the time. Which, which is kind of cool, like mo more mini combos. Group, no, no, I will not shut up, you will not silence me! Lydia best female design toe. And now due to knee interrupting me, I just lost uh, the track of where I am. So what's happening here? Heat engager. What is this? Super plus. <laughs> Jesus! Oh! He hit the clone. Did you see that? He didn't hit Raven. He hit the clone. Eesh! What's the significance of orange clone versus purple clone? I, I, I did notice in the heat smash he had orange clones. And now we are at Rage Art. And I love a cam right here. This shot is so cool. And with uh, the opponent, you see Claudio there in the far background. Right above him, he cre creates this. Very cool shot here. Nothing personal. My jutsu has evolved to a new level. And what what a cool wind pose as well. Yeah, I, I, I do have to say that it's great to have Raven back and they seem to have changed him. I mean it's just I, I wonder where it's going to go, this whole clone thing, noob cybot. But I really like it. It certainly shakes things up. I hope he can do crazy stuff with those clones, and uh, in terms of visual presentation, the stage is shown here, everything he does animation-wise is just absolutely top-notch. Absolutely top-notch. Uh, I like Kazuya more as a character, but this is my favorite trailer so far. Uh, it just makes the game look like 10 out of 10. So cool. Uh, loved I can't stress enough how much I love this trailer. Super cool. So I hope you like my breakdown and I hope you have a great day. Take care.